to the State House now, where Iowa Teamsters convoyed in to the Capitol, protesting what they call the latest union busting bill to be proposed in the Senate. They say the Republican sponsored bill would require public employers to submit a list of employees that are eligible to vote in their union election prior to each election. But if the state doesn't get the list in five days, the Iowa Public Employee Relations Board can move to decertify the union. Supporters of the legislation say the state has not been getting the information in a timely manner from nearly half of the companies holding union recertification elections. Those taking part in the rally see the legislation as a way to punish public sector unions. When things aren't broke, don't fix it. The public sector bargaining law wasn't broken in 2017 and they broke it. And now they want to break it some more. Well, guess what? We've had enough. And our members are not obligated to go above and beyond the call of duty while they're under attack. And I'm telling you right now, the next time that uh, there's a union busting bill signed into law, people across this state will start feeling the effects of service. Jesse Case went on to say many public sector employees are being asked to be on call outside of those scheduled work hours, which he says that's a violation of their contracts. The legislation passed in 2017 requiring public sector unions to hold recertification votes before existing contracts expire, thus allowing membership a say as to whether they wanted to continue union representation.